just want to mihi to you all. I know there's a lot of pressure on uh, young people. This is a very controversial day uh, out there because, uh, you know, you get a few critics who say you're going down the wrong track. But I want to say to you, it takes a lot of courage to do this. Very seldom have you had kids go out on strike. Unheard of, unprecedented. Well done. Give yourselves a clap. on behalf of uh, our Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, her greetings, her support uh, in terms of what you're doing. Uh, this is her, this is uh, the moment for young people. She's saying, and she said that right from the start, anybody who denies climate change, this is not her words, these are my words, is a maniac, and, uh, and uh, they've got to get with it. I, I salute all the work that's been done here, particularly by my friend Fanona Toyeti and, and others. Nando has been a great supporter of of this kaupapa for a long time. But you young people will drive this. There's no doubt about that. We're so reliant on you. I'm embarrassed by some of the people who've come out and criticised you. All the best with this kaupapa. Tēnā no tātou katoa. And hōmai te paki paki for Tāmati Kofi, the local MP for Waiariki. I was asked along uh, for the last week uh, I was asked uh, whether or not I would be down supporting our young ones as they took a day off school to strike about something that they were vocal and passionate about. Uh, my answer to the media was, well, I'm not sure. I, uh, I hope that they will discuss with their whanau, uh, their mums, their dads, their nans, their kōros, if they were able to take the day off school. Uh, underlying that, uh, my answer was, hell yes. Give yourselves a round of applause right now are actually vocalising something. They say that the young people of today don't care. They say that the young people of today are lazy. Uh, by showing up today, uh, by making your signs, by standing for an issue that you feel passionate about, uh, you are to be congratulated. Uh, thank you for doing this. Um, I, I echo what uh, my colleague uh, Willie Jackson said. We go down to Parliament, uh, we have a really special opportunity to make some changes down there uh, to be able to sort this out. Climate change is absolutely our nuclear-free moment. You might not get that, but actually, about 40 years ago, there were some people just like you. They were the young people of New Zealand that were fighting to make sure that New Zealand was nuclear-free. And you know what? We did it. We did it. They did it. They did it. And so that should lift you and inspire you because the, the things that you're fighting for today, climate change, who knows what we're going to look like in, in 20, 30 years' time, but hopefully uh, the stuff that you're doing is making a difference. Uh, your job is to hold us to account as politicians, as MPs that go down to Wellington and make decisions on your behalf. So there are some things that we've done down there already that we're really proud of. Uh, number one, uh, we set up, uh, well, we banned plastic bags. We've banned plastic bags. Let's just take a moment for that because every time you see a, a picture of pollution in New Zealand, uh, actually one thing that we did was we said we don't want that. And our Prime Minister, who is passionate about reversing the effects of climate change in New Zealand, actually said, you know what, let's, let's take the low-hanging fruit, let's get it rid of plastic bags, all right? So let's start cleaning up our act. Uh, one of the other things that she did was she set a target on New Zealand being carbon neutral. So she said, let's put a date on that. Let's not just talk about you know, what we're going to do. Let's put a date on it and let's start aiming for that. So she's made a date of 2050 for New Zealand to be carbon neutral, which means that everything that we emit into the atmosphere, we're going to have to neutralise that by doing other good things like planting trees. These beautiful trees that you see either side of us. We're committed to planting uh, one billion trees here in New Zealand and we're going to keep doing it because we, uh, we've, we've knocked a lot of trees down, we've cut them down, uh, we've used them, uh, but actually trees are really good. The reason that they're here with us is because they give us life, they sustain us and in fact we've taken too many down so we're putting some more up. So we're committed to planting one billion trees to help offset our, uh, our impact on the climate and that's another thing we've done. Also another thing that we're doing is we've actually said no more drilling the gas, no more drilling for oil in New Zealand. We want more sustainable solutions than that. So give that a little round of applause because no other government is ballsy enough to be able to stand up and do that and your government has done that. Uh, it's, it's, 
it's unsettled quite a few people, but what we're saying is we don't need to keep drilling for gas, we don't need to keep drilling for oil, let's start looking at alternatives, let's start considering solar, let's start considering our wind, let's start seeing what our rivers can do to be able to help us uh, to generate energy. We're already doing a bit of that now, but let's really throw ourselves into it, because actually, you know what, if you keep drilling for oil, one day it's going to run out. And actually, where are we going to be then? So let's be a little bit more uh, bit more visionary and actually start moving into these new energy sources, renewable, sustainable ways of operating. Those are just a few of the things that our government are doing. And as I say, we've already set a target on this. 2015, we're going to make sure that New Zealand is carbon neutral. But we need to do lots more things between now and then uh, to make sure that we're still on that journey. That's what we've done for you. We're going to continue to do it. Keep contacting us. Keep telling us. Keep doing this, because if I can tell you one thing about politics, when you put down your signs and you walk away from this today, when it doesn't become an issue, it doesn't become an issue anymore. It drops off the agenda. My challenge to you today is to keep it on the agenda. What will you do to keep it on the agenda so that politicians like us keep going back to Wellington, keep saying the rangatahi of Whakatane really care about this um, so we need to keep fighting for it. So you do that. That's my challenge to you. I uh, killed everybody. Have a beautiful day. Hold up your signs so I can get an awesome photo. Where's the cameraman? Where's the camera? Oh, look. Oh, Dane, come up here. Come up here onto the stage, Dane. I want to get a video of this because I, I want to take this back to Wellington and I want to show Jacinda the passion uh, that you guys have come with today. So let me just do a little scan around the crowd. I'll start here. All right. Hold up your signs. I love it. You're beautiful. Kia ora Pakistani!